What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. All right, so I got a message before I pulled the um the charm. Um I was pulling this deck, all right? And then I had these four cards attached to it. Nothing is a coincidence, all right? And these are these are from my quote deck. It's a different deck. So it's definitely a message. Um so I'm going to read you what each card says. All right. The first one is I am the dreamer of my dream. Oneness in my true nature. I feel I'm sorry. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith and the fearless and free I am. Something about birds could be significant here. A mockingbird specifically. And in any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness, okay? So the message I got from this is that I feel like um, your dreams are about to come true. I know that sounds crazy, but um, if, it, if it's not that drastic, it's like your wish is about to come true. Something that you've been wanting is about to come here, and it's because you stay true to yourself. You stay true to who you truly are, to the, the morals and the values that you believed in. I feel like recently you've been tested on that um and it's either go against the grain or you know settle and you know in situations where you're not happy okay um i feel like you put a lot of intention and energy into walking in your soul purpose walking in what you truly want within yourself and no matter who on the outside gets upset about that um I feel like you gave it up to the universe. You're like, you know what? I don't even, I'm not even going to do anything. I'm, I'm allowing the universe, my God, my angels to work this out. And that's exactly what they're doing. Okay. A lot of you guys are about to get your wish because you weren't petty back or you didn't retaliate, you know? Okay. All right. So that was a special message. Let me just put it back. All right, let's see who's going to get this. Also, I'm sorry about this angle, guys. I broke my tripod. <laughs> and, um, Taurus, I broke my tripod. So I just got another one, but we're going to, I got ordered another one, but it's going to take some time. So, you know what I'm saying? This is where we're at. Um, so until the tripod comes, this is going to be the view that you're going to get, that you're going to have to get. You know what this reminds me of? Um, was it, um... Oh, it was Dexter. Was it Dexter's laboratory? Was it Dexter's laboratory where his parents, like, you couldn't see their heads? And they were mad tall? It was definitely on Cartoon Network. I don't remember. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, all right, Tara. So we're going to pull two um, oracles, and then we're going to clarify. Um, I was guided to pull the guidance card. I mean, the romance angel cards for you. So I don't know what the freak is going on. I'm not going to say that this is a love reading for you just yet, um, because I can interpret the love reading, the, the messages on these cards as a general, but it's just interesting. Okay. So I just wanted to mention that bottom of the deck is bring love into the situation, new moon and Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or have it in your chart. Okay. Um, I feel like there's somebody's going to come towards you here. Um, and I feel the universe wants you to treat this person with love and care. You have hold your vision at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, I feel like persuasion. Like, I feel this person is going to try to persuade you to look at something their way here. Um, and I feel the universe doesn't want you. The universe wants you to, like, be nice to this person because it's not. They're trying. They're not trying to do it in a malicious way, even though it might come off like that to you. Like, you might feel that way. But it's more like this person is very... Um, does not like change okay um which i feel like you can understand that so they're gonna try to make you do something their way uh, um just so like it's so it feels safe for them but by bringing love in the situation and meeting them halfway right compromising both of you guys meeting each other halfway and trying to and trying to look at the situation from a higher perspective will help it okay Okay, so the first card you have is confidence is your key to success. This could be a Leo that you're dealing with or have that in your chart. Um, new moon and Leo here. So there's somebody here that is very confident in what they want here. They, they're very confident that something is going to work, okay? 
engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Somebody is confident that um, something is going to go to the next level, go the next step. Okay, whether that's you or someone else. What is confidence is your key to success and engagement here? You have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Cups in reverse. The Empress in reverse. And the Justice in reverse. What the freak? Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody's delusional. Somebody's delusional. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that actually I'm not sorry because that's just what that's just what it is. Okay, this is one sided the, they are. I don't know if this is you or them. I feel like this is them. They are the only ones that feel this way here. There's a, there's a disc, there's a huge disconnect with the situation between you and them here right now. Um, like something is not it, it, something is not happy. <laughs> there's a lot of disharmony in a situation. A lot of you guys could be separated from this person already. Um, I feel like this person abused your generosity. I feel like they took too much, okay, and didn't give back to you, all right? Um, this person was also not growing within themselves. This person had a lot of insecurities as well. This person could have been smothering you in some way. Um, they, they depend too much on others, and that was also an issue, okay? This person was also dishonest. This person did some crazy ish. So the justice in reverse, like some, this person did something that was very unfair and they're not holding themselves accountable for it. Now, I feel like the only reason that this person feels like, um, the only reason I feel like this person feels like they're going to be confident in something is because the way you're acting with the three of swords in reverse, you're not, you're not upset about it. <laughs> you're not crying over spilled milk. You're already over it. Like you're. That's it. Like, you're good. I feel like a lot of you guys have healed it already. You're not stressing about it. But this person feels like because you're not stressing about it that they got a chance to, to you know, make something happen. But that's not the case. I just feel like you're, I feel like you're very understanding. I feel like you um, have a lot of care and love for this person. But I don't think you're in love with this person. I don't think that you want to take the next level like this person does. I don't. Because it's like this person wants to, like take the next level and it, it but it's like the whole situation is not good it's tr it's someone's truly unhappy here and there's no love being able to be grown or sustained in that energy so it's given delusion like it like it's given like you can't see what's going on here like what do you mean you know like that okay all right the next card you have is a new start is coming Ooh. So there's a new beginning here happening for you, Tartar. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. Um. Now this might sound crazy to y'all, but I gotta go with, with what I'm what I'm getting. I feel like whatever this new thing is, you're going to become addicted to it. <laughs> um, I feel like you're gonna want it all the time. You're going to want to be around it all the time. This could be the other energy as well. We're going to pull the tarot. But there's got, someone's going to be addicted to, to the other energy. Um, whatever this new start is. What is this? A new start is coming in codependency. Leo energy again, bro. You have the strength card. The five of cups. Page of wands in reverse. And the fool in reverse could be an Aries. Bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles. Okay. Um, so this is gonna come after you showed a lot of self-love and respect for yourself. Okay. Um, I feel like the universe puts you put you in a lot of situations where you held your ground in and you became a lot more stronger and a lot more confident because of that. Okay. I feel like you had to take some losses here with the five of cups. Don't regret anything though. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Um, I feel like whatever you lost here, it was immature. It was lazy and it was lacking ideas. It, it wasn't, I feel like you were bored. Like I'm seeing somebody yawn. I feel like you're just like yawn. It wasn't, it wasn't up to your standards in a way where it could, it will make you grow and thrive and like 
you know, it wasn't clicking all the buttons, okay, basically. You have the fool in reverse. I feel like the universe, I, I feel like you were about to take a leap of faith and the universe, like, kind of made, kind of showed you that you couldn't go that direction. But it's funny because you still have a new leap of faith coming anyway. <laughs> it's like they had to, like, redirect you or something, okay? But make sure that you're not um, afraid to start something new when it shows up, okay? And it could be that whatever this new thing is, is an upgrade. So you might feel like you're unprepared. You might feel like you don't have the look or you don't have the um, resources to upkeep with this new beginning. You absolutely do. This is coming at the perfect time and you're not going to want to let it go. See, I told you it was you. It was you. This could be a financial situation here. Okay, with the four of pentacles. But it doesn't have to be. Whatever this is that, that's going to come out of this new beginning, like, you're going to... It's a solid investment, too. Like, it, like and you know it. Okay? So, um, yeah. And, and I feel like as soon as, as soon as you realize that the universe is like, you can't go this way, and they bring you th this new thing, you're like, oh, okay, copy. Like, I don't feel like you're going to be so, you're going to be upset. Um, I feel like you are for a little bit, you know, but, but I feel like it's more like you're going to be mourning the loss of whatever it is that you um, weren't going towards anymore. Okay. The next card is nothing is yet set in stone. Now, I love this card because... I don't know, I just do. There's just like the meaning behind it is could be very interesting. Um, hold on, let me drink my coffee. Um, okay, so nothing is yet set in stone, Tara. So something is not something can easily be changed. Something is not um concrete yet okay you have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so there could be um someone that you feel attracted to here okay that somebody somebody feels attracted to you but the universe is saying like nothing is yet set in stone with this person with this with this attraction that you have it doesn't have to be a person okay but Hierophant is here. I love that. The magician in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Don't love that, though. Let's see what's going on. You have the tower in reverse, the Hierophant, the four of pentacles, and the two of swords. Okay, so... Mm, I feel like you're holding on to something because you're indecisive if you should let it go or not here. Um, now, whatever this is, the reason that you don't want to let this go is because it's like you're trying to avoid a disaster from happening um but this is a lesson that you have to learn Taurus so you're gonna have to let this go okay whatever this is that you feel very attracted to you're gonna have to let this go um I feel like you think that something is gonna be um were like it's like it's it, it's like you're trying to tame the devil or something <laughs> no but i feel like you feel like something is going to be a lot more um worse if you let it go than if you just try to like you know keep the peace but by you trying to keep the peace you're actually making something worse with the magician of reverse there's somebody here who's trying to play games trying to manipulate the situation and i feel like the longer you hold on to this they are able to manipulate the situation so that's why the universe is telling you to let it go here with the tower um you have the ten of swords the hangman and the knight of wands here so i feel like when the tower does fall what it's going to do is it's going to cause you to change your perspective on an ending because i feel like the ending is going to happen you're absolutely right but i feel like something you're it's not how can i say this it's like you're not gonna stay here for so long like with this ton of swords and this knight of wands right after it i like like i feel like it's like you feel the pain and then you just start on you you start going after something there's something that it like catches your eye else immediately like i feel like a lot of you guys just don't want to like sulk or like sit in the energy of having to let this go here. But I don't feel like you are. 
okay i feel like it's gonna go a lot quicker than you think but you have to rip off the band like you gotta let this go it, it, it is what it is i feel the universe is saying like you don't have to hold on to it nothing is yet set in stone okay all right what is engagement and confidence is your key to success this is your advice now you have honesty and focus people dealing with an aries um yeah, I feel the universe wants you to be honest with yourself here in this situation. Like, is what this person's saying and what truly you know is happening and you feel, does that match up? You know what I'm saying? You have focus here. I feel like you got bigger fish to fry. Okay? What is a new start is coming and codependency? You have the high priestess of air. Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, and hope here so i feel like the universe is saying keep the hope up even though you weren't you didn't get to go on a new beginning stay hopeful because there's something new coming anyway here i feel like with the high priestess of air there's going to be some communication that's going to come towards you here lust is here somebody still wants you somebody is still yearning for you okay that could be part of the new start what is attraction and nothing is yet set in stone you have denial here and the moon yeah it could be dealing with the cancer there's a lot of fear here there's a lot of fear here and that's why um the universe wants you to let this go here i feel like you're in denial i feel like you're you're telling yourself that you can't or that you you know um that you have to do this or that this is gonna be this is what it is you know but with nothing is yet set in stone no it's not there's nothing that has been concrete i feel like maybe things have been set but nothing is concrete you have message i feel like you're going to receive a message here that is going to help you release this because i feel like you're holding on to something really tightly here because you feel like out of fear but that's about to change summon yeah the universe is about to call on you here something you're gonna get a message from something um that you thought was closed out forever that it is not or vice versa Okay. All right, Taurus, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.